Three years ago, I wanted to lose weight. I was overweight, I looked flabby, and I never got any of the girls. I still don't. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna try to get in shape. I'm gonna hit the gym and eat healthy. So that's what I did. I firstly went on a diet. You know, I started eating like veggies and chicken breasts, you know, the standard diet. And I started going to the gym every day. And guess what? To my surprise, I started to lose weight. It was pretty simple. And if you know anything about fitness or losing weight, you basically just need to eat healthy and like limit your caloric intake now so however something did happen a couple of months into my fat loss journey i got impatient i started looking for more complex ways to lose weight faster i started looking for more fun diets so that i could like eat a little bit more junk food i started looking at, at training regimens and you know like special techniques to gain muscle i just started looking for hacks when i really didn't need to look for hacks though i did make progress at the beginning of my of my fitness journey and fat loss journey as soon as i started looking into the more complex things like the mediterranean diet or like the omad diet or like the special things that really don't work but are just marketing ploys for you to buy people's fans when i started doing those i stopped losing weight and i stopped with my motivation i switched up my diet and and workout regimen so much that I stopped losing weight. Now this fat loss story does play a role in our tech journey as well. You see, most developers like new stuff. We we as developers, we just like that, you know, like, ooh, the new MacBook, ooh, the new study routine to help me learn tech faster, the new course, the new Python feature. We are always looking for the newest features and oftentimes that comes at the detriment of either progress our time or money and worst of all is the study routine stuff like the pomodoro technique or the murphy learning i don't know i don't know but these sorts of like hacks that play like a a, a trick on our, our brain that make us think that that's the thing that's gonna make us um, successful or make us money or finally be a developer. And though having this sort of mindset is beneficial at times, it plays a detriment to you and your programming journey. We don't spend enough time learning, which is the fundamental thing that we have to do in programming. Um, looking for ways like this and people who promote like always learning different things and people who promote like study techniques, are, are just trying to avoid work you know like we're avoiding the actual work and facing the hardship that comes with learning to code you're like okay that mindset doesn't work what is this mindset you're talking about nazar it is to stick to the basics we think that the secret is somewhere we think that the newest thing will make us the good coder none of that makes you good coder none of it what makes you a good coder is being good at code and to be good at code you have to firstly learn the basics and do it consistently. That's the two step hack to being good at code. This is gonna get me no views. This is gonna get me a ton of hate, but it's the truth and what I talk about on this channel. If you wanna get good at coding, you have to have this basic mindset of, okay, I'm gonna do and learn and apply. Do learn apply. Top developers make the best apps because they stick to the basics. They understand that oftentimes the more complex things is not always good. There's a, there's a really good quote that I just love is it is that the best code is written in the least amount of lines and it can be understood easily. You just have to understand that progress lies in the basics. So to get this basic mindset, try your best not to overcomplicate things. In the process of learning to code, just do the basics. Just pick a language and do it two to four hours every day. Understand how code works and get to work. Try your best to simplify the process of learning. That should be your only method of looking at coding and the only mindset when it comes to coding. And also, if you wanna learn more about the mindset of successful programmers, I'll leave the other mindset video that I made uh, up, up somewhere.